Hey, this is Nick and welcome to Borsalino Carpentry. So in today's video, I'm actually working on moving my business website over to Bluehost. Uh, I used to have it on, um, what's it called, uh, GoDaddy. Uh, like maybe eight years ago, I started with GoDaddy and then the prices went up and I switched to WordPress.com out of a recommendation. I kept hearing about WordPress not realizing there was a difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. So I don't understand any of this stuff. I'm really not that tech savvy as far as computer, like websites and everything. So, so in this video, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how I'm moving the site over and wh what exactly is going on here. Um, so I'm moving from wordpress.com to wordpress.org and the wordpress.org is hosted through Bluehost. And I've done all sorts of research about which host to use, and, yada, 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 and I, I don't know, they're all, they're all confusing to me. But I started my personal website, nickborsolino.com, through Bluehost. You can have like unlimited domains through Bluehost, and you just have to pay for the domain and whatever. So I figured rather than paying all these different things everywhere, um, we also have a website for our podcast, nickandtrisha.com, which is through Namecheap. So eventually I'll bring that over too, but I'm doing one at a time, trying to get them all consolidated. Trisha also has her own website for her design work, so um, if they're not charging extra for them to all be on here, we just have to pay for the domains. It makes sense to put them all in one place. So that's why one of the reasons why we picked Bluehost. So... Um, I'm working on moving this stuff over and it's kind of complicated. You know, I had to go into Bluehost and ask them what I had to do. Then I had to go into WordPress.com and do everything I could do. I've got chats going with both of them simultaneously right now. And they're asking the other one to do stuff and I'm like the middleman. It's kind of funny. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of cool. It, the process hasn't been taking me that long, maybe a half an hour. They asked me to download backup files for the website with the site contents and the databases. And so I didn't really know what that meant. I went on there, they told me how to do that. I did it, downloaded it, it sent something to my email and I had to download something onto my computer. Now I'm back on Bluehost and then I gotta somehow get that on there and I had to get the domain released from here to put it on here. And it is like back and forth. So it's kind of fun. Um, but it doesn't seem that difficult because they both have these live chat things, so I'm talking to a human, and it's kind of neat. So what they had to do was, once I released the domain on Bluehost, they put the domain on Bluehost, and now they had to, what did they say it's called? Then they had to update the name servers, whatever that means. So they're doing that, and now we're transferring that over. And then once it's transferred over, I take all the information that I had, which I believe is the actual website contents. And then I will be able to load that onto Bluehost and it should pop right up. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping it works. Um, and we'll see. If you haven't seen my website yet, either of them, there's links down in the description for all of it. It's borsalinocarpentry.com, it's for the business and nickborsalino.com is for my personally personal stuff. So, um, they got the name servers over on wordpress.com, ready to go over to the .org site. They're working on that over here. He said it'll be a couple minutes. Hoping it's, it's quick, it should be pretty easy. And then I can just reload my website. They got it all figured out. Wordpress.com people said I'm all set there. Bluehost just sent me the uh, checkout stuff. So I just did that. I got my receipt here. I should be able to just now load everything in here. So it wasn't that bad. It took 45 minutes, but it wasn't 45 minutes of work. It was a lot of waiting one of them to answer a message or, you know, it was a lot of waiting time more than anything, but I was doing other stuff on here. So that wasn't too bad. Okay, the guy from Bluehost just said, perfect, I could see that the domain transfer is initiated from the account. It will take five to seven days for the domain to transfer completely. 
to the account to speed up the transfer you have to contact the releasing registrar to release the domain from their end which i think i already did so the guy from bluehost said i can now start moving the files onto bluehost and then when the domain is brought over it should just be ready to pop right up but i've never done this before so we're going to find out how this works I'm gonna give two thumbs up for Bluehost and WordPress.com for their support team. They are super helpful and knowledgeable and they helped me do all the stuff that I could not figure out how to do on my own. All right, if you're getting anything out of this so far, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I guess I should also mention, because I have a site with Bluehost already, um, it cost $11.99 to transfer the domain for one year and twenty dollars and nine cents to have domain privacy and protection so thirty two dollars and eight cents to host my website for an entire year with bluehost and i don't know what i'm already paying for my other uh website but this is just to add on another website with the protection and everything 32 bucks so not bad Okay, I thought it was done, but I am back. Uh, I got an email from uh, WordPress.com saying I had just had to click a link and then accept it, and then it said it was done. My website is no longer online, so the guy at Bluehost is now helping me load all the files from my old website onto Bluehost. So we're going to see if this works now. Okay, so I have to upload the backup of borsalinocarpentry.com in the domain folder, Borsalino Carpentry. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so he said the domain did successfully transfer. Um, now I'm trying to upload file, select file. It's complicated for me. I don't know loading slowly it's pretty cool that they're available it's this is i'm doing this it's 11 17 p.m on a sunday night and they're here helping us out i mean this is great i don't know what any of this means he's sending me links to stuff i don't know the person i'm talking to is in india <laughs> mangalore india okay so maybe not I've been going back and forth with Bluehost and WordPress for, I'm not even sure how long now, over an hour. There's some glitch, something's not working right. So they are going to have me speak with one of the higher agents at Bluehost because they can't seem to figure it out. Figures. He keeps telling me to do something and checking with them about the thing, and I do, and they're like, yeah, that's what you have. And then I go back to them and I tell them that. He's like, but it only has one file in it. And then I ask them and they say, yeah, there's only one, one file, an XML file. It contains the contents of your website. And I tell him that. And he says there's supposed to be some index file or something. We've just been going back and forth for an hour and it's just, oh my God. So it's after midnight. I'm giving this up for today. I'm gonna try to figure this out tomorrow. All right, I'm back and I got the website kind of up. All right, so I spent uh, two hours on Sunday night when I started this and then yesterday, Monday, uh, another hour or so and then today another hour or so all in these chat functions and I had um, WordPress.com in one chat going and Bluehost in another chat at the same time and they were I was the middleman going between them and they kept asking each other for information and it was a pain in the butt but I finally got my site up but it's not a, it's not the way my site used to be. In fact, the content is there, which was very difficult. We finally got that today. The content is dumped on there, but it's all just literally on there. The menus aren't working, nothing's right. 
Uh, we even tried to bring the old theme over that I had over to the new website and it's not working. So I have to rebuild the website with a new theme. So I have some work ahead of me. So uh, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna try to put up at least a under construction site so that if anybody goes to my website, it will at least give you that versus right now, it's just a mess. So um, that's where I'm at. After a few days, it's finally, like I said, moved over. Now I've just got some work to do to get it all looking good again. So it is doable. It was kind of a pain, uh, but at least now both my personal site and my business site are both on Bluehost. And trisha has got a couple of her own sites. Uh, she's got her um, design website as well as our Nick and Trisha podcast site that we might bring all over as well so we can have them all in one place. The reason we went with Bluehost is that uh, Bluehost does not charge. You can have unlimited domains. You just have to pay for the domain and you can host as many as you want um, without paying all those extra fees. And we had four different websites on four different platforms. Uh, mine was on GoDaddy and then I switched it to WordPress.com, not realizing that was different than WordPress.org, which is why I started my personal site on WordPress.org through Bluehost. Uh, Trisha's site is through Squarespace and then our other site is through Namecheap, which we picked Namecheap because as the name implies, it was the cheapest. Um, but now finding that we can bring it over here for free, just paying for the domain makes that actually the cheapest. So very confusing, but that's where we're at. I'm gonna put links to all the websites down below. NickBorsolino.com is my personal one and BorsolinoCarpentry.com is my business one. And I guess that's it. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you on the next video.